And welcome everybody here on Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Grixis Control in Historic. You may remember this deck uh, from a couple of weeks ago. We tried it out over there um, uh, in Historic and it did pretty well. Um, and it, it felt like it, it was pretty good. And we're going to be running it back. We got another donation to retry the deck and see how it does. We updated just a tad bit. Um, I wanted to get that fourth Ritual of Soot in the main deck. Ritual of Soot is just such an important card in Historic with all of the creature decks everywhere. So we got the fourth one of those um, in here. But of course, we are a Fires of Invention deck. We're trying to play Fires on turn four and then start playing a lot of mana worth of stuff. As you can see, our curve is all about that four mana spot. You know, we're hoping to double spell on turn four, double spell on turn five, turn six, and so on, and just um, spend more mana than the opponent by the end of the game. Um, the forefront of our, our winning is, of course, Nicol Bolas the Ravager, Nicol Bolas Dragon God. Nicol Bolas the Ravager is already a really strong card, but with Fires of Invention, it's even better since it'll cost zero to play. So if you can wait till turn seven, you can play it and then tap your seven you can play it for zero mana then tap your seven mana and just activate it and already get nickel bolus the arisen for just seven mana and we know how good that planeswalker is um but then of course the late game we got cards like search for Kanta and narset parter avails that um, help us continually have a lot of cards in the late game and then we have one of my favorites masterminds acquisition that allows us to use any card in our sideboard or our main deck um, anytime that we want this card's just really sweet so let's get to it let's play some grixis control in historic i think we mostly want to play against creature decks that's that's ideally what we want to be playing against our creature decks Because we got a lot of removal in here. We'll be playing five, uh, five matches, of course. All right, so we'll keep this. Sphinx of Foresight is going to let us scry three to make sure that we're not drawing more lands, that we're just drawing spells. And with us being on the draw, we scry at the beginning of our first upkeep, so we'll be able to see their first land drop and have more information. You know, we'll, we'll be able to tell if they go, like, you know, forest, land, war elf, we'll know we need to find ritual of sets. If they go, you know, isolated chapel or whatever, we know we won't. Okay, well, we'll keep those two. Put the land down to the bottom. Yeah, how to face Nexus. I mean, I think it's just hope you have your discard spells. Try to unmoor Ego Nexus. That's about it. No, I should play Dragon Skull Summit. Yep, I should have played Dragon Skull Summit. Civilization has crept too uh, this is fine, I guess. If I, played, if I played Dragon Skull Summit, then I would have the Devil available to kill this Vivi, and then I would untap Fire's Ritual of Soot. Time. Life would have been better. And I'd have a completely empty battlefield. We're fit enough to survive. So did not play land last turn. Well, there's a land. Darn. I was hoping they were going to explore something to the top. 
Because <clears throat> in the adventure, the God Eternal would be able to mess it up. Mm. We already have another Nar set that can they can also find us more cards. I should probably get some defense in here just in case. And obviously, Sphinx of Foresight lets us. Scry and everything. Oh yeah, we did, didn't we? This is yeah, we we did play against this opponent when we were playing Merfolk, didn't we? Watch out, they bite. I mean, if we had Ugin, I don't know if Chandra's actually better than Ugin, but I like getting, I like grabbing Chandra because it's outside the game, and we we keep all of like the the cards that we have inside the game that are you know, like in in our deck. They're all good. All right, more grasp, another enter the God Eternal. I think that's about it. Um. I don't know. We're playing standard with our other two decks. I, we had two donation decks for historic, and then our other two decks are going to be playing standard. Yeah, Cry the Carnarium may not be amazing, but you know, it can clean up. Jade Lights and Branch Walkers and Land War Elf and stuff. Not a ton. We'll, let's, we'll take one out. And I could see taking out another Narset or Drawn or like Drawn may just be slow. Yeah, I'll take out Drawn. <laughs> yep, that yeah, that happened. Snappers, that was in a vintage tournament because yeah, Black Lotus is, is not legal in Legacy, but it's legal in Vintage. But yeah, that happened in Vintage. Turned Black Lotus into a three-three elk and attack with it. That's a great card. That's a great card. Ugh. 
Which I would have taken Steel Leaf. Should have taken Steel Leaf. So best case scenario for us, we find a uh, ritual of soot. Hey, boot. Let me go. Be right back. I need help. Okay. He's kind of struggling. Hawkeye was kind of struggling with his food a little bit. Just um, he pushes it to like the edge of the bowls, and then he can't get it. And he's and you can hear him just like moving the, the bowl around everywhere, trying to like scoop at it. Elder 2, 11 months. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Well, I guess I don't have three black mana for Dragon God. I guess everything's not just free. I have to actually count. So I guess if it's a black source, I could keep it. Or if it's a Fires of Invention. I guess maybe I should have... Yeah, maybe I should have kept... Bedevil over Grasp and used Grasp because of, specifically because of Spyglass. If they have more Spyglass. Need that Bedevil. Huh. Or they have the Great Henge. So that's something they could have too. Um, there aren't really any artifact decks in standard, to be honest. Hear that? Eons ago.
must be done. In case they top tech questing beast, we have a blocker, but I guess that blocker. It's over. We'll be jumping, but the nickel boluses will take over from here. Whoops. Let's get a win. <laughs> yeah, being able to flip Dragon God orig like right away is awesome. Um, so, yeah, being able to be able to flip that immediately is just awesome. There we go. Thank you, Candice. Yeah, climb the ranks of donation decks. Yeah, Daniel. Yeah, it's it's difficult to create a really high end deck for absolutely free on Arena, but it's not impossible. Magic has always been a very expensive game. This is the first time where that's even, you know, the first time in its twenty six going on twenty seven year history that that's even a possibility whatsoever magic's always been a, an expensive hobby yeah, it's never been you get it's never been you can grind a tier one deck at at f and m for free kind of thing i mean I... boo So yeah, while well, while that is difficult, this is it's the best it's ever been. <clears throat> you cannot see your folly. Well, we basically have Ascanta going for us. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to need that... Contempt. I don't even know how much damage this is going to be. Seems like a lot of damage. I'm glad they just discarded a, a Chandra for no reason, though. That's a pretty sweet combo. And now attack Narset. Darn. They have another Cavalier. I'm dead. I'm, I'm really glad that their their Chandra's gone. Ah, is that another Chandra? <clears throat> that also makes sense. So we're in a rough spot. We need to find Enter the God Eternals. 
So there also has to be a creature out there. Let your weak minds crumble. Well, here's the creature. We only have our one Enter the God Eternals. All right, found that. My intellect is without limit. Oh man, I'm one short. I'm one short from going, from being able to go fires, activate Nicol Bolas, go put Cavalier of Flame into play, and then enter the God Eternal. Ugh, one mana short, so I just have to kill my Nicol Bolas. That hurts. I still might as well play this. Ooh, those are some good cards to mill over at least. Now we need to find Mastermind's Acquisition to go grab our other Enter the God Eternals from the sideboard. Um, first, I'll keep stop. Um. Acquisition. Oh! Okay, good. Yeah. So, okay, outside the game. I guess I, I should have done this just first. Make them exile something first. No, yellow. Not, no, Oko will not be errated. You have no weakness I cannot There's, exploit. That's not something they do anymore. So we can attack for eight. Ooh, that was so close. I got pretty fortunate there. Finding the removal for Chandra, exactly what I needed to. GG's. Who's, whose birthday is it, QQ? Is it your birthday? Oh, there you go. Oh, it's QQ's birthday. Happy birthday, QQ. Y'all get some hype for QQ in the chat. The man behind helping me build my computer, besides boot, of course. All right, well, Grasp can go. I mean, I don't know if ETGE is actually going to be good in this matchup. It was just good because I was going to die to that Chandra.
Let's go with this. All right, draw blue mana. What? Whenever you or one of your permanents becomes target of a spell or ability, it deals two damage to me. How do we ever beat that card? How are we supposed to win? They didn't bump this? No, bone crusher. I think I take four to duress. <laughs> uh oh. Regulator good. Okay, Cavalier Flames out of here. Just the battle of the four mana four fours. What happens if I enter the God Eternals and target them and have them mill four? Do I take Do I take a million damage? Do I just take ten? Do I just take four for giant, four for them, two more for giant? I don't know. I'm gonna just ritual set. He <laughs> just take a thousand damage. What it seems like. Because ley line means I would take four for targeting the, the giant. And then I take an additional two for taking the giant because the, the giant. And then I'll take four for targeting them because of the ley line. Well, I got pretty fortunate that match. I don't I don't know if I would win that 
too often if we run that back. That was a lot of damage they had there. I got very fortunate of drawing all those 4-4s. Four yeah, that looked like a cool idea for, for a big red deck in Standard, even. They didn't really play cards that were legal and historic, did they? Like, weren't all their stuff, like, standard legal? I guess, like, the Lightning Mirror, but that doesn't matter. Sword Saint 9 to 7. Thank you so much there, Sword Saint. Getting a brand new Twitch Prime sub. That's our 10th sub of the day. MTG bots off by one. So we hit a sub goal. We're getting pretty close to a 12 hour stream. So how it works if you're newer to the channel, every 10 subs during a day is a sub goal. And then every 20 subs is a 12 hour stream. Or any, every 20 sub goals is a 12 hour stream. So we're getting pretty close to that now. Yeah, I've, I've liked the Sphinx. The Sphinx has been really impressive. This is a lot of damage. Yeah, we don't need to draw it. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh. That's a good draw. Don't have a 1-1. One, one. Don't draw a 1-1. One, one. Okay. Scholar's vengeance, and I'm coming for you next. <laughs> Stomping time. I'm just not gonna really risk it. I'm gonna get this thing out of here. I'm not gonna, even though it can't attack right now. Too risky. Mono green's getting pretty popular, isn't it? This is the fourth time we've played against mono green today. That was a clutch into the God Eternals. Yeah, end of the God Eternals has been looking great. It's all of our four fours. Sphinx of Foresight, End of the God Eternals, those have all been looking great. So one Narset, one Cry, and one Drawn is what I did last time. We'll do that again. Yeah, Ender the God Eternals does match up very well against Questing Beasts. And this is a big time Questing Beast format. Can we get something that's not one land and not six lands? Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. So I guess I have to put back Dragon God and Fires. Put back Narset and Fires. Then I don't I just don't have like the mana to cast Dragon God yet. They're on a five card hand also. Okay, cool. There are two drop with Paradise Druid. I got mine with Azkanta. Uh, yeah, we want to keep that. My prowess. Keep an open mind. Well, this makes my play a little bit more obvious, or a lot bit more obvious. hurts I guess I could have just played steam vents and tapped and then just held up noxious grasp that would have been my best play it looks like yeah I mean that's I guess that's what I should have done instead of playing narset Yep. Playing the Narset cost me that game. If I just play the Steam Vents, pass. They go Questing Beast, I have Noxious Grass for it. And then I can untap Soot. Save a whole lot of damage. And I'm probably just fine from there. Okay, we need to draw two lands and three cards. It's not a good draw. I'm just taking a land out of the deck. That's a lot of cards that are not land, so that's good for me. That's four spells. Hopefully we draw land now. Come on, play the troll, play the troll. Yes. Narset. Love it. 
Come on, land. Love it. Okay. Now I got Mass, mass Mind's Acquisition for Bedevil for the Great Henge. I guess I could just go Ravager Sphinx. Get 8 power into play also. Oh, that thing has two counters on it, right? <clears throat> I was thinking, I was like, well, we could do that and then and then contempt it. It's got two counters on it. I guess technically Sphinx is more valuable than Nicol Bolas. Let's just do that with one counter. Make it turn this thing into a three-three. Now it's hard for them to attack. <clears throat> If they have Questing Beast, I'd rather block with Nicol Bolas than block with Sphinx of Foresight, because we're not, we just don't have the mana to activate. Huh. It's kind of surprising they let me get the Ascanta trigger. I guess they were still trying to decide. I'm not gaining life from this, but I still get the 4-4. Four four. That's all, that's reasonable. So now they have a 2-2, two two, I have a 4-4 four four to block questing beast with. Grixis. All right, I like I like facing these mono green decks. I'm playing good good close games. GG's. Sure hope we're playing against creatures for no particular reason. <laughs> it's an auto loss against a control deck. 
Hey, Sarah Angel. Yeah, we got two. We're going to be playing two more matches here with Grixis, and then we'll be going to Chew Lane. We're doing five matches with each deck today. Maybe four with the standard decks, depending on how long the, the matches go. The historic games have been going faster. <laughs> In this stream, we honor the God Pharaoh. Hey, what's up, Bert? How's it going? How's your day yesterday? I don't. Yeah, Waticus, I don't. I don't have a top 51 favorite cards released in the past decade. I don't I don't have that. Hey Rex. Yeah, Grixis piles are fun. My, what's my fourth favorite dinosaur? Zatalpa. The Primal Dawn. I am not, Chris, no. Stomping ground usually means creature deck. Castle Embereth. Castle Ember this week. Oh, this may be a long match. Feels like my opponent is like double queuing or something. Taking another three damage here. I want to be able to kill a questing beast. Yeah, I'm keeping Bedevil up for questing beast. If I play Fires of Invention, then I cannot play and play spells on my opponent's turn. Wish Spellbreaker didn't have Hexproof on their turn and I could just Bedevil it. Here, I guess I, I probably should have played Fires here, but it doesn't really matter. I don't think it does. Maybe it does.
All right. Well, should have ritual set at the spellbreaker while I was at 17. It looks like. Yeah, I just got really punished for my line of play. So bedeviling that during their combat so they couldn't I couldn't just like kill it and then they play a new questing beast. So if they're this is my best play against a backup questing beast. We're in a really tough spot now, though. I really wish I would have just bedeviled, or sorry, would have ritual set it to begin with. I feel like my opponent has another questing beast. Oh no, it's an ambush. Oh, well. Witness a motor. That's good for me. Power. That's not a questing beast coming down here. And our Sphinx is a good blocker. Yeah, that's so what I'm going for the ultimate with Nickel Bullets for sure. Yeah, Chris, um yeah, you have to you have to restart your flying from time to time to prevent the the lagging after you play for a while. Tear this place. Every couple of matches just close it out just close it and then reopen it. Balance and that comes. helps. Oh, 
multiverse will bend to my will. I'm gonna keep them, <clears throat> keep making them exile stuff. We got backup dragon gods. Let your weak minds crumble. Hey, Sugar. <laughs> What's up, Sangriel? Uh, this could be a long one. All right, 27 minutes in for me. 21 for my opponent. That's a good draw. Removal for Sphinx, that's good. And that turns on <clears throat> Questing Beast again. <laughs> this is how you... Rankler, is this because like, your computer is like this? Is that why this is like every game that you play? Okay, your opponents are like this. I got you. My intellect is without limit. Of course, making them exile another land so they can't play Questing Beast now. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. Do not defy the design. Ether itself serves me. We want to find creatures, <clears throat> but of course this game's this game's over. But we want to find creatures. So, yeah, we could ultimate Bolos next turn. It may be better, honestly, it may be better to just play a new Bolos here and just make them exile two lands and get them down to two mana. I don't really know what they're doing with three mana anyway, though. There is an Elder Spell in the sideboard. So I'd have to find Mastermind's Acquisition and then grab Elder Spell from the sideboard. My 
schemes are never ending. Truth lies beyond vision. We, of course, don't need to attack, so we're just going to minus eight the Dragon God. All right, finally. Um, grasp, grasp. ETGE. I think I do like Cry of the Carnarium. It did look, especially on the draw here, them playing, you know, Kral Harpooners and, um, and Burning Tree Emissary. I'm going to keep both Cry of the Carnariums and take out an extra Narset. Balding Yeti! Ten months, let's go! Thanks, Balding Yeti. Some number 11 on the day. Yeah, they could have Cyborg War Boss, that's true. All right, got a good stretch in. I'm gonna keep this. Do you like turn two thought erasure? Our deck has tons and tons of sweepers. You know, we have our four ritual of soot, or you know, basically everything in our deck besides lands are good draws. And we have our best turn two play. And we're on the draw, so you know, like we have we have three draws plus the surveil by the time turn three hits. The opponent has sixteen minutes left. For these other two games, I have 25. And I was the one activating all my Planeswalkers and all that kind of stuff. Hey, what's up, boss? Yeah, easy keeps. What's that timer? It's it's how much time you have in the match. Each player has 30 minutes total between the three games. If you run out of time, then you lose. As easy as that. Cinder Vines is going to be a difficult sideboard card to deal with. Unmored e go grab Unmored Ego for Questing Beast. Okay, Mono White Historic, you love it. You never get to three lands. And then you added a land and all you see were lands. That is a rough day there. I have my one card in my deck that can destroy Cinder Vines in hand. But we need to wait till we have six mana to take out the two mana card. 
But besides that, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with this acquisition right now. I just feel like it's a too strong of a card to get rid of. It's better than an average draw, basically. I think I probably want Nickel Bullis the Ravager, where Ravager can trade with a Questing Beast and make them discard. Yeah, Fable Passage comes into play tapped here. And, uh, or comes in, uh, yeah, like it would come into play tapped. So I'm going to shock so I can have the devil. You think I should grab Enter the God Eternal with that? Well, it doesn't look like they have another creature if they didn't play anything pre-combat. Collector. It does make this very scary casting acquisition. If I cast acquisition and they draw the green source, I'm taking eight damage. Um, I already took a damage for casting acquisition, so that's nine total, so I'm down to seven. I have to shock to play into the God Eternals. Pretty scary if they hit the green mana source here. Before I regret it further, we're going to get rid of one of the Pell Collectors, because while Pell Collector looks like just a 1-1 one, one right now, as soon as a Questing Beast is played, it turns into a 3-3. Three, three. does get a lot scarier. Wish we didn't have only Shocklands. I kind of want to grab Nicol Bolas. I guess Enter the God Eternals is better. Nic like, Enter the God Eternals only gains one life compared to what Nicol Bolas does, because it costs me two two damage with a shock, costs me one damage with Cinder Vines. So it costs me three life to play it, and I gain four, so I'm only gaining one life. They both make a 4-4, Nicol Bolas or, or Enter the God Eternals. Nicol Bolas makes them discard one of these cards, either Questing Beast or something else, where Enter the God Eternals kills Pelt Collector, most likely. The big plus, and the main reason why I'm grabbing this, is because if they do have, if they do draw green mana and play Questing Beast this turn, we get to kill a Questing Beast and can block another. And that's a pretty big combination. Did 
Didn't think I'd ever see a gruel historic person on the verge of timing out, but that's where we're at. What do we get? One forest. This is Jump Into the Fog by the Wombats. Yeah, I think the Cinder Vines is, is holding priority because you can sacrifice Cinder Vine to destroy an artifact or enchantment because they have an artifact or enchantment to destroy. Vivian out of here. Ticking up, of course, is better against these Harpooners, but I feel like we can figure out a way to kill Harpooners. I'm not too worried about it. Does Grix's control get us that 5 0? Well, hopefully, we play against another green creature deck. We've played two mono greens and that gruel. And. I don't remember. That That one took a while. I don't remember what the other deck that we played was. Probably something else like that. Maybe two gruels. Oh, yep. This is Esper. We, I do not like facing Esper. At least game one. Still even games two and three. Esper matchup's pretty tough. Looks like an Esper mid range. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. All 
That was a really good thought erasure. protect you well haunt's not too bad for me Okay. You wanna come up here? Come here. Hey boy. How are you doing? Oh, you can't do okay. Yes, okay. Exile the Bell Haunt so they don't get to bring it back with like Command the Dread Horde is like for what my opponent's playing here, all the cards that they've played, it looks like I'm probably gonna die to a Command the Dread Horde. That looks like the highest probability with me dying. Hey blind. Just gotta keep on you know being here, watching the stream, watching the YouTube channel. I want to. I mean, I want to have removal for Big Teferi. Big Teferi is always super scary. I didn't really like putting two removal spells for Big Teferi down at the bottom. Unseen, unforeseen power. Getting this up. Oh, Blind is gifting out five subs there. Thank you, Blind. We got Unforeseen Power. Take four to draw a card. Um, Zuber, So Machine Gun, and Ike. Thank you so much there, Blind. Santa Blind. Big time gift sub there. Thank you. Gets us to 16 subs on the day. <laughs> 16... There we go. Thank you, Blind. Said, Let's go, Hype Train. Make Todd's new year. Uh -huh. Well, this is... A little unfortunate. I'm going to have to shock here to be able to activate Nicol Bolas. I kind of wish I would have put the shock man in last turn, but I, I went with the. the dead shall serve me. <clears throat> I went with the um, fable passage to take a land out of the deck. Ah, thanks, Blind. No, no big Teferis in the graveyard. That would have been nice. But now at least we have double Ravager. We know that they can kill one, but at least we have a second one now. Let's try this. I hope they don't have two removal spells. 
and they just have the one. D Tooster with the Twitch Prime sub joining in. Uh, thank you, D Tooster. Scry two to the top. Sorry, I skip to the Huh. Don't no, they have to spark? No. Ugh, that hurts. That hurts. Oh, Frisky Biscuits! Gifted it out four subs. Boundless. We have four new subs. Thank you so much. All right, let's get a big Teferi. I'm known for my excellent timing. Thank you, Frisky Biscuits. That gets us to 21 subs on the day. So we're two more sub golds towards our next 12 hour stream. So where are we at now? Let's check. We're at 18 out of 20 sub goals now. So two more sub goals and we're doing a 12 hour stream. Yeah, I mean, Command the Dread Horde was the card that I, I talked about at the beginning that was going to be the card they were going to kill me with. Certainly looks like Command the Dread Horde, though. Let so if, if they get if they get the other Nicol Bolas, would I rather? I guess I'd rather have this in play. I know eighty-eight ways to defeat. I have just the trick for this. The thing is, if I reveal Thought Erasure, they definitely cast Command this turn. They're probably casting Command this turn anyway, though. <laughs> yeah, I drew a lot of Fires of Inventions. We gotta do seven damage to him. All 
Okay, they went scry. They didn't flicker nickel bolus. Meditate and prepare. Fury will only lead you astray. Trust me, I have a plan. Let's take it. Intellect is without limit. We're playing Grixis Control right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Maybe they, Oh, I guess they could not blink Bolos, could they? Because, yeah... The blink with Charming Prince's exile another creature you own, and plus, yeah, because they can't they can't blink and then it would go back to me anyway. So yeah, blinking Nickel Bolas just wasn't even an option. It's a good call there. Down to seven. Enough. I want to go down to seven. Yeah. You know what? I'm not done yet. No weakness I cannot exploit. So we're gonna make them clear out their hand, of course. Or is this the only Nicol Bolas? I guess maybe that's the only Nicol Bolas. Omnipotence. Guess I can get Bell Haunt. Gain a little life back. Isn't death amusing? Kenrith. Interesting. Turns out when you have infinite mana with Fires of Invention, it's pretty good. Why not draw two with Dragon God? I like them exiling permanents. I like them exiling lands. I don't really need the extra card. I like getting rid of their stuff, especially how, especially where we were at. All right, so Command the Dread Horde. Is scary. Don't think I really want War Boss. I don't know. <laughs> mm. 
There's two cards to Ego. Command the Dread Horde and five mana to Fairy. I don't want to draw a third one. I guess they're probably playing Hero Precinct 1. They have a bunch of like those four mana creatures that are pretty annoying. Well, Enter the God Eternals does match up well because of three mana to fairy. I think I have to cut it. Cry doesn't kill Murderous Rider. Ritual of Set does. Guess I'm just playing one ego. Can't really find anything else I want to cut. I think four discard spells is enough. I don't think we need duress as well. Um, if they were like more, if they're regular Esper, I would like duress, but they're creature heavy. You know, bell haunts and elite guard mage and charming prince and all that kind of stuff. Um, so veto counters Narset. And I'm okay with that. You do not have a, a better chance of drawing lands when you take lands out of your deck. The other card that Ritual said may kill, they may have the three mana 1-3 um, that would like death touch, lifelink, that kind of stuff. They could have that card too. Oath of Kaya and Bell Haunt. They don't have they need an extra black source for Belhan. Your assault is insulting. Witness a moat of my power. Alright, that resolved pretty quick. Okay. Took out Esper Midrange. Looked like Esper Hero. Nice 5 0. 
Okay, 5 0 for Grixis Control. I have to say, I, I mean, of course we did go 5 0, but we, you know, we were, you know, we had good draws all the time. Uh, that's that's probably how, why we went 5 0. You know, like our, our cards lined up very well. Um, yeah, the deck just felt good. It just feels good. Um, yeah, we got the trophy. We got the five zero, the five zero trophy. Um, yeah, Tonebound Lich is that card that I was talking about earlier. Um, so there we go. Um, any changes? I don't know. I was pretty happy with everything. War boss is still to kind of be seen. It's war boss is like the tool against um, Nexus to try to give you a faster clock to try to pair with your duress thought erasure on more to ego and just give you a little bit faster clock with war boss. Um, and it's, I'd bring, I'd bring it in against, uh, Esper control too. If we cut all of the sweepers, but I'm glad we're playing all four ritual of set in the main deck the card was continually impressive. Sphinx of foresight was awesome. Enter the God Eternals was awesome. Nickel Bolas, the ravager was awesome. Having a bunch of four fours was for lack of a better word, awesome. Yeah, the deck did its thing. Did its thing. Okay. Um, so uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Leave the comments. Let me, um, you know, do both of those. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Grixis Control, and I'll see you for the next video.